Uh, hey, it was a heck of a ball game. Uh, great atmosphere in there. Um, you know, like I told the team after, we beat a, a really, really confident team that was playing at a high level uh, there. I, mean, I think we took you know, the best punch and best punches, and, and uh, we were able to uh, answer with a couple of our own. So I'm, I'm proud of, of that. Again, it's, it's sometimes tough in these situations when you know where you're going after this and you're playing a a team that's playing for their lives. So I was, I was proud of how we came out, and I was proud of how we finished it up. Questions? Mark, when you, you kind of found a way, it seemed like other guys that hadn't contributed stepped up. Julian had a little stretch there. Was it kind of a group tag team effort there down the stretch? I mean, you've been watching us all year. I think it was pretty, what we've been doing kind of all year. I mean, or in Ross ear stepped up, made some big ones. And, Obviously, Jules has been making them all year. I thought Anton was spectacular again tonight, man. He was just big time. And especially they chose not to guard him. And I'm not sure why teams are doing that right now because he's playing at an extremely high level. But uh, uh, we were glad to see it. And he went out there and, and uh, delivered in so many ways like he always does. You know, not just making shots, but rebounds and tip outs and defensive plays that, you know, breaking balls and tipping passes and all that, like just vintage of Anton and covering up a lot of our mistakes on defense. So I thought he was really, really good. And then, uh, you know, I thought our young guard settled down after the first rounds and, and gave us some solid minutes too. And then obviously the big fellow was getting doubled a lot, but uh, I was still delivered. Uh, Anton, they closed it to two points midway through the second half. Then you and Drew, I think, had three consecutive blocks and three straight possessions. Was that kind of the turning point in your mind when you guys finally started to pull away and kind of make it your game? Yeah, I would say just the defense, you know, um, they started to close the gap, close the scoring, and um, got some defensive stops, really. Um, Khalil and um, Roberts, they were just hitting threes every single time we went down the court, it felt like so. Um, just getting those stops, it brought a lot of energy to the crowd, brought a lot of energy to the team, and you know I think that helped us, you know, take the lead a little bit more. Drew, you got one more game in your career against St. Mary's. Are you looking forward to it? Uh, not really. I mean, <laughs> it's just a conference championship game, and we got to play our tails off because if we don't, we can get we can be beaten. So. Uh, just gotta get it done. Obviously, uh, we've had some we've had some all timers with St. Mary's, especially throughout Tom and I's career. They're a, they're held a team by coached by a coach, and it's gonna be a battle. And it's uh, just another conference ch championship matchup between us two, which is pretty normal, I'd say. Coach, how much does having to come back and play the very next night? You know, what kind of wrinkles does that add into things? Well, I mean, it'd be tough if we didn't know the opponent, but I mean, they know us and we know them, so that makes prep easy. It's more about just getting your guys rested and physically and emotionally. And uh, obviously having this late game and it going so long, it's kind of a quick turnaround. We'll be fine. And Tom, when you saw them doubling Drew early, you were really able to just explode your 13 points right off the bat. Was that something that you just kind of felt out as you saw what they were doing defensively? or? Was that something in the game plan that you saw that you weren't able to take advantage of? Um, well, before the game, I just knew I had to be aggressive. Um, San Francisco's kind of been playing me like that all year. And, you know, we got shots here before, and I was knocking down some threes uh, yesterday. So, you know, I just came with some confidence. And Drew, he always finds me when I cut. And, you know, I just had a quick 13 points and, and got us going, really. Mark, defending those guys on the three line, especially Shabazz, I think final numbers maybe pretty livable without starting with him. Yeah, I mean, obviously it didn't feel like it during the game, but I mean, he got 26, but it was on 24 shots. So, um, you know, it's just that it's hard. It's, it's, it's really hard for our guys. I mean, you feel like you're out there on an island and they have total freedom to, to shoot anywhere, anytime in any manner and uh and so i think sometimes you're a little worried about the drive and and they they're so good at those stare down threes that was one thing we really wanted to take away i don't think we did great on that but we we chased them around made them work hard and then you know down the stretch here that last four minutes they ended up coming up short on a lot of them um but 
Yeah, they're, they're, they're tough. I mean, they, especially, I mean, the three of them. I mean, I, I thought Marcus Williams came in and gave him a lift when uh, he got in the game. And uh, we did a better job on the glass than we did. I thought that would be a big key uh, this game. And then, and I'd be remiss to not have man Ben came in and gave us some great minutes and, and really picked us up, not hit big shots, but was playing hard and playing with some fire. And I think that really got us going. Um, to be honest, I'm not really worried about that. Um, obviously, it's something that's super cool and something that not that's been standing for a long time. But uh, I mean, I don't really know what to say. To be honest, you stumped me for once. <laughs> It, it's cool. It's cool, but I mean, at this point, I could care less about it. I, I just, if I score zero points and we win, I, I'll be the happiest guy around. So, I mean, that's all I care about. So, is there is, is there something about St. Mary's that um, know, brings out good things in you? Is there some, some things that I guess as a competitor that you appreciate about about them? Um, some of the qualities some people may not like, but uh, no, it's, uh, I've said this before, we kind of have a respected hatred for each other. Like, we, we don't like each other, but at the same time, we respect each other. Every, we all play hard. It brings the best out of all of us, and that's what the game's all about. Uh, you know, uh, it's kind of like a controlled rage that happens between the two programs, and uh, there's no love lost, but at the end of the day, we respect each other, and it's, I think that's what makes the game so beautiful is when... Uh, Teams are giving it their all, but at the end of the day, they're, they're competitors and they respect each other for how hard they play. Hey, Drew, in uh, the NCAA tournament, do you, do you pull for St. Mary's when they're playing and you're somewhere else? Like, do you root, do you root for them to win? Oh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll yeah. love to see the conference do good. I mean, uh, it's always good. I mean, people always want to be like, oh, the WC's not this or that, but like, San Fran was going crazy last year. Like, our teams do good. So, I mean, it's crazy all the, the flack that we get throughout the regular season and even the conference tournament. And then schools in our league do good as well, and nobody wants to say anything. So, I mean, obviously, we, as long as they're on the other side from us, then I'll cheer for them all day. <laughs> Coach Rozier started off over 5, but uh, when he needed them, he was there with uh, loading up to the big shot, Bolton made with those two threes. Just, um, how uh, he's just got such a, a knack for it. It's <clears throat> unbelievable. I mean, and, and it just comes from just, I mean, talk about having a real belief in yourself and, a, and ability because, uh, yeah, he, he, that's happened a couple times. There's more than a couple of times this year. And he just, he, he's able to just process those misses early and, and shoot the next one with confidence. And they were big. They were big momentum changers and, and got us back going. I think it fired us up on the defensive end. and. Uh, and it's just something he's been doing. I mean, he's been doing it actually the last two years for us. Coach, how much does this tournament and playing today, tomorrow, and the side three teams prepare you for the NCAA tournament and what lies ahead? Well, I mean, you know, I mean, it, it obviously does because you're playing, you know, better teams and, and in a in a quasi-neutral environment, though the Zag fans make it not so neutral. But, uh, yeah, I mean, hey, from here on out, I mean, once you get in the in the postseason, especially the way we do our tournament, you, you know you're going to play a really, really good team both nights, and we know we're going to play really good teams in the NCAA. So, yeah, and that way it definitely does. For Drew or Anton, seeing Ben throughout this season, he's become a lot more confident with his three-point shot. He's become very good at pick and pop, but today it seemed like he was hunting that shot more. Just, I'm sure you guys have seen it in practice. Just how impressed are you with the growing confidence he has in that shot? Man, I love it, honestly. Um, ben reminds me of myself, you know, a lot. And just playing the role he has this year, like, I, I just love it. And, yeah, every time we hit a three, we hype each other up. So it's all love between me and Ben. Any other questions? All right, thank you very much.